गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन ऑल टुडे आर टॉपिक इज फॉर क्लास सेवन एंड आवर टॉपिक इज रोटेटरी मोशन ना द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन रोटेटरी एंड ट्रांसलेटरी मोशन इज इन रोटेटरी मोशन एंड सर्कुलर मोशन इज इन सर्कुलर मोशन द ऑब्जेक्ट साइज इज पॉइंट साइज वेर एज इन रोटेटरी मोशन द ऑब्जेक्ट साइज इज नॉट पॉइंट साइज इट हैज अ डेफिनेट शेप ओके नाउ वेन यू आर गोइंग इन टू द इंट्रोडक्शन इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट how how a body will move for moving a body definitely we require some force okay now if we apply force on an object then it will move in a translatory motion whereas if we apply some torque on a body it will move in a rotatory motion so force causes translatory motion whereas uh, torque causes the rotatory motion force causes Here the translatory motion and the rotatory motion both are analogous. Okay, now force is the analogy of translatory motion to the torque in the rotatory motion. Like if here we have different quantities such as uh, displacement, velocity, acceleration, which are analogous in uh, translatory motion, which are analogous to the quantities uh, angular displacement, angular velocity, angular acceleration in the rotatory motion. Now we are going to no what are the terms which are related to the rotatory motion the first and foremost one is the radius vector now let us suppose if a body is in rotatory motion that means all the parts of the body are revolving around about an axis now let us suppose this is the center and the body is moving along the circumference of this circle the body is moving along the circumference of the circle now at an instant t is equals to 0 let us suppose the body is here now the line joining the line joining from the center to the point of the circumference is called radius vector the line joining from the center to the point of the circumference where the body is is called radius vector so now i am writing the definition for radius vector the line joining the center and object on the circumference now this is the direction of radius vector okay now now it is it is measured in the units meters it is measured in meters or centimeters or in si system we used to measure in meters whereas in cgs system we used to measure in centimeters now we are going to the second point that is angular displacement let us suppose the same particle the same particle after some time it will reach this point after some time t is equals to 10 seconds or something any time interval we can consider let us suppose this is the initial point and after 10 seconds it reaches now the angle described by the radius vector is called angular displacement the angle described by the radius vector is called as angular displacement the angle described by radius vector is called angular displacement okay 
radial sector is denoted by small r whereas angular displacement is denoted by theta angular displacement is denoted by theta denoted by theta now the units used to measure the angle is radians we all know in si unit the si units for measuring the angle is radians so we use radians for measuring the angular displacement now for small angular displacement they will follow vector laws of algebra whereas for large angular displacement they won't follow the vector laws of algebra now we will go to the third point that is frequency frequency the number of rotations made per one second is called frequency the number of rotations denoted by capital p now usually the units are seconds now we will be going to the next point that is angular velocity now here i already have said that we have some angular displacement we have some angular displacement when we have rate of change of angular displacement with respect to to time rate of change of angular displacement that is nothing but angular velocity now the rate of change of angular displacement is called angular velocity denoted by omega now if you observe in this picture you get clap now let us support at a, at an instant even the point the object is here and this is the initial position t not at an instant t1 it is at this position at an instant t2 it is at this position now the angular displacement here is theta1 the angular displacement here is theta2 now there is a change in this angular displacement and there is a time interval the rate of change of that angular displacement to the angular velocity is called uh, uh, the rate of change of the angular displacement is called angular velocity now we are going to see average angular velocity average angular velocity is nothing but omega is equals to theta 2 minus theta 1 by t2 minus t1 whereas theta 2 is the angular displacement at the instant t2 whereas theta 1 is the angular displacement at the instant t1 now the time uh, the time interval is t2 minus t1 so the angular average angular velocity is defined as the change in the angular displacement by the time taken for the change in the angular displacement next instantaneous angular velocity now when we are going to see this 
this is our particle at every instant it possesses velocity at every instant it possesses velocity that velocity is given as instantaneous angular velocity so instantaneous angular velocity is nothing but d omega omega is equals to d limit of t tends to 0 delta theta by delta t this is the instantaneous angular velocity now angular acceleration the rate of change of angular velocity is called as angular acceleration. The rate of change of angular velocity is called as angular acceleration. denoted by r it is denoted by r now here average angular acceleration it is also similar to the average angular velocity uh, whereas alpha is equals to here omega 2 minus omega 1 by t2 minus t1 this is the expression for average angular velocity Whereas instantaneous angular velocity is nothing but alpha is equals to limit t tends to 0 delta omega by delta t. Now in this table we are going to see the units dimensional formula and which type it is. All the quantity, for all these quantities we are going to see. Now the radius vector. The units are meters or centimeters. Dimensional formula is L. And the type is vector. Now for angular displacement. Angular displacement we have the units radians. And the dimensional formula. We don't have any dimensional formula for, rate, for angular displacement. And the type of the quantity is pseudo vector. Now angular velocity, radians per second, radians per second, that means refer radians we don't have any dimensional formula, so t power minus 1 is the dimensional formula for angular velocity. This is also a pseudo vector. Now angular acceleration, radians per second square t power minus 2 is the dimensional formula this is also a pseudo vector now here we have seen all different all different uh, angular displacement angular velocity and axial, angular acceleration or of the type pseudo vector pseudo vector is nothing but if the vector is about an axis of rotation then that is called as pseudo vector here in all these cases, the direction will be like this. The angular displacement direction will be like this, angular velocity will direction will be like this, and angular acceleration will be in the same. Uh, it is above the axis. So all the vectors are pseudo vectors here, except the radius vector. Radius vector is just a normal vector. In this, uh, now in this, now in today's topic. We have learned about the introduction and different terms which are related to rotatory motion. And we have also seen different physical quantities, their units, their dimensional formula and their type of, uh, which type of vectors they are. So, I hope all of you understand clearly. Thank you for watching.